All right, guys, this is going to be my in-progress uh, deck profile for my Blue Eyes White Dragon deck. I do have my fake mat here. Uh, please pardon the mess in the background, but this is just for my um, dresser, so. All right, so this is in progress, so there are cards I'm missing and still waiting to get in, some I'm waiting on. But, um, <clears throat> but just know that this is in progress, so if you see missing stuff, just note that. So first, of course, three Blue Eyes White Dragons. Um, three different arts. I have this is the movie art. This is from um, uh, CT fourteen. I can't remember if that's the um. I believe that might be the um, tin for Kaiba. Yeah, this is like the promo with the uh, Kaiba tin for the um, with the Mega Packs. And this one was um Legendary Collection Kaiba, which I got um from a friend, I believe. So there's there are these three. So three normal blue eyes dragons course three of probably i'd to say the best monster in the deck just because how great it is and just how easy it is to summon or pretty simple um <clears throat> three blue eyes alternative white dragons beautiful card really expensive card since these are like 24 each i was able to pick them up for a little bit less still like 20 plus but really good cards like special summon by revealing the blue eyes it's amazing and once we're trying to just banish something but it can't attack but that's great removal because you know you don't have to worry about running into something really bad i do intend on running maybe one or two of the um blue eye spirit dragon but those are just um but still thinking about that right now um like i said in progress deck so um right now we yeah i do have uh three maiden with eyes of blue um two of these i believe are yeah two of these are secret rare from the uh legendary collection kaiba this one is from the legendary deck kaiba too okay so yeah we got a uh, four maiden she's really good helps get blue eyes out there just great card overall <clears throat> got a uh, three sage with eyes of blue um like one of those from legendary collection kaiba and the other and the other two are like from the other uh, thing original set and um this guy is just great as he can search he can um search out like a tuner like maiden or maybe like the uh maybe white stone of ancients so it's just great and then of course just of course the standard thing of just help get rid of um just basically tribute him or just tribute let's see yeah so just discard him and just um tribute a monster on your field and you're out of blue eyes great card Next is uh, two master with eyes of blue. Um, he's just overall pretty decent monster. Um, helps get blue eyes back in deck because that's the issue I do have a lot, a lot with this is because um, because without um, <clears throat> I run out of my blue eyes and blue eyes I'll turn this really quickly. So that's the reason why I need to get blue eyes spirit dragon. But he just helped get some back in deck and also level one tuner for synchros. Um, <clears throat> for right now I only have two white stone of ancients. I need to get a third one. I'm pretty sure I do. So I just need to get one more. But two white stones ancients. One, the King of D. Um, I may run a second one of him, but one is good right now. Because, because even though I don't use him that much, I don't use him to um, add the uh, spell cards he normally gets, like um, Dragon Revival Rhapsody or Melody of Waking Dragon, because um, normal, most of the time I actually draw them before I even get him. So. Then we have uh, one white stone ancient or a legend. Um, I'm tempted to keep this in here and take something else like out from the deck to be able to um, include for the um, next um, white stone ancients. But yeah, so that's it for monster lineup. Next we have uh, spell cards, and of course, like I said, these are also in progress. So first we got dark coal. In case you don't have anything on your field, just nuke everything on the field. I don't have right Gecky. Um, Cards of Constance gets White Stone to the graveyard and uh, Ancient Legend and Ancient in the graveyard. Oh, I need to get like another one or two of this. Trade in. Um, once I get um, Spirit, I need to get like another two more of these. So, but they're like a dollar each, which is like kind of we're like two dollars each for the Legend Archive one, and then like well, no, like two dollars for like the um, normal common, which I find pretty stupid, but. I'm gonna try to pick up some more. Hopefully, if a couple friends have them. Monster Reborn, 
I don't need any explanations. Monster Reborn. <clears throat> One Melody of Waking Dragon. You need to get two more of this guy because it's great. Two Dragon Revival Rhapsody. Great card. That's also one reason why I run like um, Master with Eyes of Blues because he's a spellcaster as well. So, you know, more revival stuff. I do run two Silver's Cry. Maybe bump it up to, to three, but two is fine right now. It's great. It's Blue Eyes Out of Graveyard. Ta da. Three Return of the Dragon Lords. You know, just free revival and great defense card. So, nothing more to say there. <clears throat> um, only real removal card I have here besides, um, um, alternative is three mystical space typhoons, one being a super rare, but, uh, this is just, you know, free cost, drop it down and just destroy something. Then trap cards. I run one, two call Hondas, revival thing, you know, you know what I mean. Bring back a tuner maybe if I have a alternative or a um, normal blue eyes and just sink into a level nine. Um, three D prisons, just cause defensive stuff. Sometimes hand might get clawed, but you get one of these and just boom. And uh, two mirror force. Might change up trap lineup a bit as well. Like maybe remove call the haunted, maybe get some quaking uh, mirror forces and change a few things out. But that's my trap lineup for right now. As for um, extra deck now, so we have two Zero Eyes, the original um, Synchro for Blue Eyes. Pretty decent card, decent protection, and looks awesome. Simple enough. Two Blue Eyes Spirit Dragon. Honestly, probably like my favorite of the Blue Eyes Synchros because this card just looks awesome. I love how it looks. Um, yeah, tribute it, revive, um, special summon a, out a, um, a light, uh, one light dragon type synchro monster from your extra deck, um, and destroy it in turn. So, how that's useful, in case anyone doesn't know, is, you know, during your turn, um, tribute it, you still, if you still have your normal summon, or you, maybe you just call it haunted, tribute it, bring out something like, um, a level 7 synchro like Michael, who's um, I don't have any Chip Fairy Dragon, so I, I have Michael in place right now. And, um, sync it with that. Bring out Chris, uh, Crystal Wing. You get a couple more level 8 Synchros, but Crystal Wing is, uh, next Synchro, which I only have, um, one of it, and it's my only level 8 right now. I have a Stardust Dragon coming in. I'm gonna try to pick up a couple more level 8s. But, uh, Crystal Wing is just... Destroy. Destroy that. Destroy you. Gain your attack. Boom. Just... All around, just great monsters, super powerful. I love Crystal Wing, or yeah, and it just looks awesome. I love it. With totally one Clear Wing, but you know, I, I you can't sink for a level seven in this deck unless you run like a level six um, Synchro. But honestly, Crystal Wing, of course, just has a better effect. So, yeah. And as I previously said, two Michaels. These are kind of damaged and because they are pretty old, but um. <clears throat> two Michaels, just, you know, fill in the thing for, um, Spirit Dragon, and also, the Spirit Dragon doesn't negate the effect, does it? Oh, whoop, god, sorry. Let me just read Spirit Dragon real quickly. Spirit Dragon doesn't negate the effect, does it? No? Okay, so probably what you could do with, um, Michael is use his effect, banish something, um, then summon out Tuner and then just sync for Crystal Wing. So, kind of a free banish, kind of, once you pay a thousand life points, but, hey. I mean, it's a banish. And then, um, XEs. So, I run one Neo Galaxy S4 Tundra. You do not realize how long I have waited to get this thing. Oh my gosh, I love this thing. Ever since Zexal era, era. I have loved this thing. I've always wanted it. This thing is definitely one of my most sought after cars. I eventually got it after a couple years. Sure, it's not as good, but still 45k beater. Great. Um, most of this is just Galaxy Eye stuff. Um, number 95, Galaxy Eye is Dark Matter Dragon. Ooh, this guy is a big beat stick and he just hurts. He just hurts a lot. He is amazing. One, um, number 62, another beat stick. 
mainly these um, level eights most of the time are probably are we gonna go into dark matter because dark matter is a huge body like prime photon is definitely one of my favorite cards as well i just love galaxy s monster so this extra deck is also amazing for me um <clears throat> it's just that he's not as good without normal galaxy eyes because you know it does half damage but still awesome looking card and great card one of galaxy eyes full armor dragon um beat stick monster basically these three are mainly beat sticks or to go into dark matter um and of course, uh, I just recently got it. It's a little bit damaged, but um, Ultimate Rare number one hundred seven Galaxy Eyes Tachyon Dragon. It's been a while since I read its effect, but um, take a look at it right there. And I just overall love this card. It's another one of those monsters where I'm pretty, if I remember correctly, you can do really well during battle phases, or you can just also use it to um, just go into dark matter. But you already have like some of these other ones you can just go into. But I love this card. I love its appearance. I love its art. I just love it. I just I just love Galaxy S monsters. <laughs> I'm gonna I'm also gonna try building a Galaxy S deck, but right now Blue S is what I'm sticking with. Of course, it's still in progress. Um, one uh, Santa Fon the Sky Prison number sixty eight. Just um, <clears throat> just a thing to fill, help fill out the uh, level eight slots or the uh, rank eight, just in case like um, somehow the I can't just bring out these guys and I just bring out Santa Fon. so. It's okay-ish. I'll keep it in there for right now until until I need to take it out. And of course, um, one uh, blue eyes twin burst dragon, and twin burst is actually really cool because it requires two blue eyes on the field, but um, it doesn't require polymerization. You basically just um, what's the word? Uh, I forgot the, I forgot the thing, but um, you know, like what uh, Neo Space used to do is just uh, you know, fuse without that, or like what Cyber Dragons do as well. But like yeah, this is no not Cyberjack, but still, this card just basically pops on the field once just by sending those two to graveyard, and it's great card. It's awesome. In case um you know you just need you just need to get out of a situation, but um rarely go into it. The only time I probably go into it is if a situation absolutely requires for it. Otherwise, I probably just can go into one of my rank eights, and probably just gonna go into um dark matter. So that is my um. Thing for my blue eyes white dragon deck hope you all enjoyed thank you